Hi, this is Jabba here, and today um, we're going to be talking about, well, I was originally going to be saying Boris Johnson needs to get fired, and while that's still true, um, I think it's probably better if I say that um, the entire Westminster bubble needs to burst, is probably a better way of putting it. Um, because what I'm actually talking about is they've mani- because they're putting feels ahead of reels, if you know what I mean, it's like um, emotion and feelings are being given a higher priority than facts uh, and truth. And because th- th- that's actually the priority that's been set, um, irreparable damage has been done to the reputation of the British intelligence services. And what I'm talking about in particular with Boris Johnson, uh, hang on, I'll just pull up the pull up the screen. Right, so this is about, uh, this is a continuation, you could say, of the ongoing saga of the uh, Skirpal uh, poisonings. And... Uh, I, when I first heard about it, it sounded plausible that uh, that this would be the Russians doing it, and so I just simply conveyed the the official story. And until more information was available, I wasn't I wasn't actually I I felt it was going to be a bit too early to to, to jump on the conspiracy bandwagon, shall we say? And um, and then as things progressed, I it was kind of being well. There's still no evidence, um, and it's looking like it would advantage Russia less than it would uh, Russia's Western uh, competitors or enemies. In other words, us and America, um, and um, and Boris Johnson caught red-handed, caught red-handed, lying through his teeth. Now I like the guy, and in, in 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 as much that um, I find him entertaining, but you cannot lie when you are. Um, <laughs> like the foreign secretary you cannot you cannot lie in that type of job he's just fucking trying to cream cheese his way through it as 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 if he's still at fucking university and the problem is France and Germany they took it on faith that what was being said was factually accurate. And that's where the reputation was. You see, the reputation of the British intelligence services was, well, you might not like government policy, but at least we know our shit when it comes to intelligence. And the politics of virtue signalling, you know, the feels over reels, uh, that took precedence, and so forget the facts. Um, the official line is that it's all Russia's fault, and at this point in time, it could still be Russia, but it's starting to diminish rather rapidly the probability of it being Russia. And um, there's certainly enough doubt, even if they could actually give a proper. Um, location for where it was made which I am I don't think they can actually do that uh, because you can you could basically import the, in, the ingredients from a local area and make it in your own lab uh, uh, you, you know it's, it's um it's um it's really bullshit uh, to actually say oh yeah we can we, we, we can just put it under a microscope and tell where it was made it's um you can tell what recipe was used. I, 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 you know, you know the the precise recipe, and the places where that recipe is normally used, but 
you could actually just get your hands on that very same recipe and make it yourself. So, um, okay, um, let's see, let's see, uh, right, so here is Boris Johnson, and let's actually, let's see, let's see, um, yeah, I'll just play this, I'll just play this, see, because I've got another, another clip here, which is actually the port and down expert and this interview on sky news was actually after the interview with um well the, 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 this video clip i've got here's here's on the guardian um uh, youtube channel so, so 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 remember this one is after and it totally contradicts what boris johnson's saying and and just and just look at this guy look at this absolute fucker right um but when I look at the at the evidence, I mean, the people from from Porton Down, the the, the uh, laboratory. So they have the samples. They yeah. do, and they and they 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 were absolutely categorical. And I asked the guy myself. I said, "Are you sure?" And he said, "There's no doubt." So um, I, we have very little alternative but to take the action that we have taken. Okay. So you see there, it's, uh, there's no doubt what he said there. I'm just going to play it again, because this is like, what the fuck? There's no way that this can be misconstrued. I mean, the people from, from Porton Down, the, the, the uh, laboratory... So they have the samples, they yeah. Do, and they, and they, they, they were absolutely categorical. And I asked the guy, myself, I said, are you sure? And he said, there's no doubt. So... Um, I, we have very little alternative but to take the action that we have taken. And that's the face of a lying cunt. I don't mind someone being cheeky, but it's like he's representing the country and he's lying through his teeth. There to DW, I think that's um, a German station. And the French, the Germans... And the Americans, I uh, well, uh, I think there were fourteen countries in total, kicked kicked out uh, Russian diplomats, um, as 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 part of this, based on these these lies, because they're going well, at least if there's one thing about the Brits, they know their intelligence. So if they are saying that this is actually Russian, then it's Russian. And wait for this, fucking wait for this, right? So 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 that's that so that was Boris lying through his teeth, Johnson. Now listen to the actual expert um, and his explanation. We, um, in terms of our role, um, were able to identify it as Novichok, um, to identify that it was a military grade nerve agent. Um, we have not verified the precise source, um, but we provided the scientific information to the government, who have then used a number of other sources to piece together um, the conclusions that they've come to. But you have not been able to establish at Port and Down that this was made in Russia? As I said, it's our job to provide you know, the scientific evidence that identifies what the particular nerve agent is. We identified that it was from this family and that it's a military-grade nerve agent, um, but it's not our job to then say where that actually was manufactured. Is it possible to establish where these things are manufactured? It can be established through a number of different input sources, which the, which the government has access to. Um, from our perspective, scientific evidence is only one of those sources, and it requires a number of other things in order to to verify that. So to be clear, you're not able at Porton Down to say where it is from? At this stage, with the work that we've done thus far, we've been able to establish that it's Novichok or from that family. Um, we are continuing to work to help to provide additional information that might help us get closer to you know, the, the question that you asked, but, but we haven't 
yet been able to do that. And we, um, in terms of our role, um, were able to identify it as Novichok, um, to identify that it was a military grade nerve agent. Um, we have not. Right. So it is actually a genuine Novichok class nerve agent. And it's actually military grade. Um, so that means that it was made in a laboratory. Right. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's not somebody cooking it in a kitchen kind of thing. Verified the precise source, um, but we provided the scientific information to the government. Who yeah, so they, they couldn't, or at least at this stage, they, they might be able, that, you know, there might be things they can do uh, molecular uh, from a point of view that, that they might be able to, to trace it. Uh, or at least narrow it down. But like I say, that could just be someone using a, ingredients from a, from a specific location. It's not necessarily that it was made there. I, I, you know, you know, it's a, it's like that 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 in itself is no guarantee. It's it's like he's talking about that that uh, that the scientific uh, information is just one avenue, and there are other avenues. These other avenues basically are intelligence work. Um, listening for rumours, uh, the word on the on on the the street kind of thing. Well, it's on the streets, uh, you, you know. As a, um, you, you know, you know, with, with, within the intelligence community, um, relying on somebody somewhere slipping them information. Uh, you, you know, like um, hoping to be able to bribe someone in Russia to be able to confirm or deny that that it was something that they had done. Um, and yeah. Yeah, and that, uh, it's quite clear the government were not expecting this interview to happen. Uh, they sprung a lot of bullshit on the media. And I, I'm not sure quite what's happened here because I don't know if, if Sky News, if, if it's Sky News, um, uh, maybe they just phoned up and said, hey, any chance of an interview? And he's gone, sure. Uh, um, but uh, I'm under the impression that the government were not expecting this guy to actually um, be interviewed, and he's just answered the questions truthfully. You know, they do, they don't know where the nerve agent's from. They they they've confirmed the type of nerve agent used. Um, also, uh. <sighs> The thing I'm finding incredibly suspicious about this as well is for this to be an assassination attempt, uh, they, both victims are making incredibly good recovery. Uh, it's like, what was it, a couple of weeks ago, or, or uh, they were kind of like going, well, there, there's no cure for this, so they're fucked. And now all of a sudden it's a case of, uh, the daughters are kind of like bouncing around the room, kind of like waiting to get discharged. And so, and they've had to like delete a a tweet from from one of the government accounts uh, because it was backing up what Boris Johnson was saying. And <clears throat> as you've just seen for yourself, that's just been confirmed as total bullshit. He lied. He lied to the British people. He lied to the international um, foreign foreign governments. There, but Boris Johnson is not the only one. The fact that this strategy has actually been uh, used in the first place, that is the bigger problem. Boris Johnson is just. The front end of it, you know, you know, you know, he's he 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 he's like the the pointy end of the spear. But um, this is Westminster. It's all of Westminster. They're too busy with this bitching around, trying to fucking suck the cock of the SJWs, um, whereas. It, and then when they're dealing with actual, real, serious people internationally, Russia, for instance, 
Germany, for instance, France, USA, dealing with the, the major powers in the world. And they were still trying to use SJW tactics to manipulate. It, they've been found out, and this is irreparable damage to Britain's reputation. Irreparable damage. Who the fuck is going to actually believe what they say next? You know, it's, um, you know, because you you could say something like the the Iraq, Iraq War and Tony Blair, then it's like it's a case of well, he had his nose too too far up George Bush's ass. You could you could you could kind of rationalise that one and go well that's a bit of an anomaly. But now, now this is completely fucked up the reputation of British intelligence. And that was the strongest thing that we had to offer our allies, basically. Um, no, don't get me wrong. British intelligence is still going to be good. Um, but they're not... Well, they're underfunded, aren't they? They're too busy monitoring social media content that they're not um, paying attention to whether or not there are Russian agents walking the streets. It's like when I was a kid, that would never have happened. During the cold, you know, like the actual um, severe Cold War uh, period, um, there were, there, you know, you know, there would be proper counter espionage happening. Um, and everybody has dropped the ball because everybody seems to have been thinking that after 1989 that uh, that suddenly uh, there is no eastern threat because the Berlin Wall had been knocked down. I was like, you fuck... Well, that's the, that's the thing. It's like, you fucking morons. It's them. Nobody on the east had declared that uh, that the Cold War was over. So, you know, it was it was just this assumption that it's like, oh well, um, uh, the the USSR has has collapsed, and and fragmented, so that therefore means it's over. And it's like that was that was the assumption that was made by the press and the West. And um, anyway, anyway, I'm 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 I'm, I'm getting a bit directionless, but um, but yeah, uh. Westminster bubble and needs to burst. This is insane, absolutely insane. But yeah, I'll I'll leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. I think and um, and yeah. Cheers again, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>